confrontation, sanctions and the like. You, um, you also mentioned the issue of retirement. And for any leader, no matter how great a run they've had in office, one of the issues that comes up is when they will leave the political stage and what will happen next. One of the questions that's burning right now in the Malaysian media or is being talked and discussed about a lot is whether 2020 will be the last year for Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad as Prime Minister of Malaysia. Will it be, sir? Which part of it? Will 2020 be the year in which you decide to exit the office of Prime Minister? Yeah. Well, we had a vision to become a fully developed country by the year 2020. Unfortunately, after I stepped I step down, the leadership took a different course, different uh, policies, and that caused the, the uh, target not to be achieved in 2020. So what we have settled for is that we will uh, still try, but we have moved the accomplishment date from 2020 to between 2025 and 2030. There is a new uh, approach to solving our economic problem. And this time around, we want everybody to benefit and not any particular group only. So if I understand correctly, you feel there's a need, the country needs your leadership well beyond 2020. Well, I have promised that I would step down once I have resolve some of the major problems that has been left by the previous government. Uh, I promise that I will step down and give uh, the leadership to, uh, well, a candidate that has been na named by the uh, coalition. Okay, we've just got a minute left, so I want to ask you a final uh, point. Do you think the uh, leader of the ruling coalition, Anwar Ibrahim, is the best person to take over at some point? Would you endorse him? Well, I cannot guarantee what, who would be the best person to take over because I've had bad experience. Uh, I have named my successors and when they took over, they do different things. Do you have any regrets about I mean, you've had, a, let's say, an off-and-on relationship with Anwar Ibrahim. Any regrets about how that has transpired I, in the past? Uh, before, of course, uh, we were antagonistic towards each other, but we realized that the country's needs uh, is more important than our, our personal feelings. So we decided to forget the past and concentrate on developing the country. That is more important than our quarrels. Dr. Mahathir Mohammed, thank you very much for talking to all of you.